You know what's hot? If it's on, on the, the boulevard. boulevard. Woo! Yeah. Welcome to MusicBoulevardCanada.com. I'm your host, Joy, and I got here today, the hottest group to ever touch Canada's stages, ever, ever, ever. Introduce yourselves. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Diz. Hey, I'm Tamina. And I'm Rodrigo. We are... Rodrigo. So, uh, when did you guys first hook up as a group? When did you guys meet? When did it all start? Where did you come from? Basically, uh, like early last year, you know, after we kind of finished a couple tour things that we were doing, Tamina was kind of working on a movie, we were all kind of busy. We came together and um, just decided at the top of that year that we wanted to kind of come together and do music. You know, being on tour with, with these artists, you know, it's very inspiring. Right, right. You know, right. to see people like Keisha Shante, George, you know, Corey Lee, you know, doing their thing, mm -hmm. dancing behind them and knowing that you have what it takes to do it too, kind of just pushed us to say, you know what, let, let, let's do it. You know, so we were we kind of already friends, you know, from four years before. Okay. You know, we came together and decided that this is what we wanted to do. Okay. You know? So having that friendship, right. you know, as a base. Right, right, right. What musical background do you guys have individually? Well, for me, I've done piano lessons, and I've done singing here and there, mm -hmm. and then afterwards I figured after dancing that why not put them all together and try to, you know, test different waters yeah, it works. I love it. It worked out. It's, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's so I see that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, for me, uh, I'm originally from Mexico. Right, right, right. Right. Uh, I, I play the, the guitar a little bit. Right? Okay. You took and lessons, I been, or was it? I, I I did take lessons when I was in high school. I did have my music uh, teacher. Right, right. But uh, then I started getting into dance, right? But I never forget about the music base, right? And right. I, and I I always been singing. I've been uh, in, in groups in Mexico too. Right. right? And okay. It's, like inspire me a lot and. It builds my career as, as a musician and as right. an artist, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I just like the industry. I like performing. I like singing. I like dancing. I like playing the guitar. I like joke. I just like everything. It's naturally, it's naturally in your blood. in my blood. Exactly. And I cannot live without right, it. Right, right, right. I just right. cannot live without it. Right. Um, for me, I, I've just been singing, like doing music for years. Like um, writing, you know, being inspired by different artists. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it really... Um, took me to a point where I decided at a very young age that I wanted to do music, you know, so taking vocal lessons, going to art school, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, really helped develop um, my vocal ability, you know, and just really um, gives me the, the desire to continue to take lessons, you know, try right. to get better and better as, as we continue to do this. What art school did you go to? Wexford School for Performing Arts. Wexford CI. <laughs> <Bop>. <laughs> okay, your hit single, Crazy Love. I've heard it. It's hot to death. I love it. Who comes up with your, your concepts, your ideas? Who writes the songs? Is it, is it an individual or is it a group effort? Always a group effort. Always, we okay. Definitely, we all work together to do it. Right. And brainstorm different ideas and right. come up with something good. Right, right. And then also, we also work with Luther Brown. Okay. He's our artistic director for the group. Okay, excellent. Um, yeah, we definitely, you know, when we first started, we, we Everything that we did as far as um, our songwriting and everything was with us. You know, we always Everybody came together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we worked with an incredible producer named Sammy Queer Productions. Another shout out Queer Productions Sammy. out there. <laughs> Hottest producer. Um, uh, we came together with him and we kind of just um, got the music from him and felt it out. And we all came together and wrote um, the first two songs that we that we worked on. Just strictly us. You know, after that we did collaborate with Luther Brown and helped us kind of refine Luther Brown. Here you go, Luther Brown, this one's for you. You know, we collaborated with him and kind of just came together and he helped refine our sound. Right. You know, right, right, right. Um, tenfold, you know what okay. I mean? So. so you guys have uh, danced and opened for international artists such as Destiny's Child, Nelly Furtado, Alicia Keys, the list goes on and on. How did it feel to open for such worldwide superstars? Like, the crowd must have been amazing. Like, what was it like? Well, me personally, I just, I love, like I said, I love performing. Right? Just the feeling of, the, the sound of the people 
get just hyped. just cheering and, and screaming right, and, and right, just right. the the feeling of the music right it's, yeah. it's really loud so it needs to it's made that just the feeling that you watch, you see performing in front of people and everybody's looking at you. Right, right, Even right. if you know the artist, but you feel the everybody, you feel as the artist, right? right. You when you're a backup dancer, right. that you feel that you're the artist. Even if you know you don't know the artist, you, you are not the artist, but you feel like right. Mm-hmm. Just the, just that feeling is just amazing, and I can explain it until you guys do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's something that I can explain. No, that's something I love being on stage. I love performing, entertaining people. Right. Just it's, it's a thing that makes me great. Right. Just to be able to share my talent with everyone else. Yeah. It's, it's just an amazing rush. Right. I get a rush. Right. Okay. Uh, for me, it's it's it, it is an amazing feeling. You know, mostly also because you. You never really think that when you see certain artists, you know, those big names on TV and you see them doing their things and winning Grammys and whatever, and when you find that you're on stage with them, you know, you're sharing the stage, even though you're not dancing specific, specifically for them, mm-hmm. you know, to be able to dance and know that they were just on that stage or they're going to be on that stage is an incredible feeling because you kind of feel like, you know, accomplished, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Or not even accomplished, but you just feel like um, the work, the hard work that you've done over the past couple years is, you know, paying off. Right. If you guys could come together on an agreement of uh, a famous rap artist to be on your next track, who would that be? Oh, that's oh a hard. I got you guys. I caught you. <laughs> rap and rap. A rap artist, famous, who's known. Who would that be? If we have, if we all had to decide. Decide together. Okay, so Let's see if you guys could. I. <laughs> I love the teamwork. I love the teamwork. That is absolutely Good. amazing. Okay, ready. <laughs> and the winner is. I just. <laughs> Foxy Brown. Woo! <laughs> okay, and why? Why did you guys choose that? Well, she's also, she's rapping with the females too. Right, 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 right. But she also has like the hardness of, uh-huh. of males, so it kind of suits both worlds. Okay. And she just has a flavor to her, just the way. Her style is just so amazing. Right, and she's right. also from the era that we also like, you know, the 90s, 80s. She keeps she keeps it she keeps it real. Okay. I love the, I love the teamwork. <laughs> that teamwork is that how you guys work all the time? I love it. Yeah. Absolutely Usually, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I gotta, I gotta just add one thing quick. Um, Ludacris was a very close second. Okay, so Luda, they were kind of... It was kind of just neck and neck, but you know, we kind of gave it to Tamina and said, you know what, we'll go with Foxy. Okay. But Ludacris, the, the, you know what it is? It's just that energy. You know, they both kind of have high. that. Yeah. She has a little West Indian twist It's true, too. that yeah. too, that too, that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wine and talk, wine and talk, wine. <laughs> How have you guys evolved as a group in the last year that you've been together? Wow. How have you changed from the beginning to now? Oh, well... It's a big change. I wanna like it's a big change because I remember like when we start, we were like, okay, so wh- what is gonna be our sound? What is gonna be? It just naturally, naturally came to us. We right. didn't look for it. Okay. And every song that we do, it just sound the same for us. Yeah. It just means different, but it's our sound and it's just us naturally. We didn't look for. We didn't try to copy anybody. We didn't try to sound like anybody. It was just naturally. The sound was there, the sound come to us, to our head, in the mm-hmm. same position and just make our music. Right. And that's what he's saying, we change, it's just every song we do, every song we do, when the time is passing, every song we do, it's just better and better and it's getting better yeah. and better and it's gonna get better. Right, right. We're not gonna stop and we're never gonna stop. You're on my mind, babe You can have my mind, babe